In terms of SSN Orcas, the first not due to roll off our production line until the early 2040s, what are the chances over time as we roll these off every two years that this is going to become an outdated technology? Is there an ability to upgrade that if we're looking in 10 to 15 years time that it's out of date? Yeah. So clearly with all major capital programs, there is an improvement and an upgrade program that happens continuously. And as we begin to build our first submarine, we'll con commence construction by the end of this decade, clearly we'd want to be incorporating new technologies, stealth mechanisms, uh, ad advanced processing in the submarines, com computing. You know, don't forget that the, the nuclear powered submarines have a capability to remain submerged and undetected for months on end. They really are the apex predator of the seas. And we, you know, the government believes that they will uh, deliver a capability that will defend Australia and protect our people and really safeguard our economic prosperity. When you look at the early 2040s, there is this prospect that we could have Collins class submarines, Virginia and the new SSN AUKUS. Can the Navy run three separate classes of submarines or is it in your view we won't actually see that materialise at all three or on at the same time? So the government is committed to doing a loft type extension of Collins class submarines mm -hmm. and having that being done in the 20s and 30s in conjunction with the delivery of the Virginias in the, in the 2030s will ensure that there is no capability gap and that we will have a very formidable uh, defence capability, a deterrence capability. And then as we roll uh, off into AUKUS in the 2040s, but the way we constructed the optimal pathway is that many of the technologies that we currently have in Collins, uh, the combat system and the weapon, for example, are the same ones in the Virginia class submarine right now. And many of the Virginia class uh, weapon systems and combat systems will also be resident in SS and AUKUS being a trilateral program. So as we go forward, we'll have lineage and sort of a DNA that goes all the way through this. And we did this to really to minimise that transition risk. So it's not a problem. If we were to get to a stage where we needed all three at once, it is possible because of the similarities. So we're, we're working what this, uh, this optimal sort of split of force structure is, but we've certainly factored that into account. And we have plenty of time to work out, you know, what is that, that optimal pathway at the moment. But as I said before, we plan to uh, extend the Collins, all six, and get those Virginias delivered in the 30s. Yeah, so on life of type extension, would it, it's your advice to government that all six need to go through it. We shouldn't wait and see until closer to the time? So the government is committed to uh, extending all six of the Collins. I mean, they at the moment provide a very, very capable uh, a deterrence for Australia. Um, that extension and the upgrades doing the Collins will take them through to the 30s, nearly 40s, and that in conjunction with the Virginias said in the 30s will absolutely eliminate any capability gap.